Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, hopefully this will be the first of several videos um, documenting my my build, my progress in this uh, fairly large project I have planned. Not sure I could really call it planned. Uh, I'm making it up as I go along, but you know, it's, I'm hoping that it will be really cool to have a before, a during, and an after video, so that's why I'm doing this first video. Uh, this is a um, SMP server run by a friend of mine. Uh, it's just a, it's a server for just a few friends. It's not like a big public server or anything like that. Our server is basically starting over at this point. So far, what happened is uh, we each picked a, a land, and we were all hoping for various, you know, things. People wanted their their gorgeous mountains or their large waterfalls or whatever, and uh, I couldn't find one that was really nice. I didn't really like the land forms that we got with this map, and so I decided to pick uh, actually a village. Uh, if we go outside, you can see that this village actually has a lot of problems. Um, it's built on some really uneven land, um, and if we go over here, uh, you can see that these steps are just sort of onto pits and stuff. Now that pit's probably not a good example, but as you can see here, this farm, the, the trail just goes down, and the farm actually is floating um, a little bit above the land. Uh, this is because the, I think the, the village generation tool was a little bit a little bit screwed up when it made this map because I actually found a couple villages where honestly where one had like sheer drops outside the front doors of the of the buildings and um, another another town was actually had one building on top of another building so that's I mean that's that's pretty pretty broken I picked a relatively unbroken village which of course got broken because creepers started showing up inside and uh, I'd come out and the creepers would blow up and so I'd have a bunch of craters and that's why there's a hole in that building. Actually there's two holes in this particular building. There's some damage to the front and there's <laughs> the entire back is pretty much missing on this building. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But um, yeah, so what I did was I took this village and I decided that I wanted to build like a castle or a um, uh, some kind of a manor house, maybe. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be, but I wanted to capture the villagers and uh, make them my slaves. No, I wanted to uh, capture these villagers so they didn't roam around, you know, just off into the distance, never to be seen again. And uh, I wanted to sort of confine them and build them into into the building so that they can sort of mill around as residents or servants or you know, whatever you might imagine them being. Uh, one of the other people on the server had an idea of uh, trapping one inside a kitchen so that they can sort of look out through a little slot, you know, behind a counter, uh, and <laughs> they can't get out into the rest of the house and they're just sort of trapped in the kitchen. And I think that's actually probably a really funny and, and brilliant idea. So I built this wall around the, uh, around the village and I'll go ahead and walk around it. Uh, it completely encloses the village, of course, now. And um, then I had to sort of herd all the villagers who had already wandered away back into the village. And I'll tell you, that's not easy. Um, you push on a villager and they move for a little bit, but mostly they don't want to go. And they sort of uh, wander to the side. And it's kind of like pushing one of the dogs when they're seated, only not nearly as easy. I really wish there was a way to lure vill villagers. Um, I feel like you should be able to hold a book out and be like, oh, there's a book, like the uh, animals think about the wheat. You know, it's like, oh my god, that wheat, I need the wheat. So, um, but unfortunately there's no way to lure a villager that I'm aware of. Um, now, I did uh, do a little bit of mining. It was kind of actually by accident. Uh, there was a mob uh, spawner under the ground here, there's a dungeon, or there used to be a dungeon, and once once I had killed the zombie hordes that were spawning, I decided to go ahead and pull out all the cobblestone, and then I did a little bit of extra mining, and I found a, uh, a whole um, uh, abandoned mine complex down there, 
so that'll be fun to explore later on. Uh, as you can see, all the farms have been disassembled. This is I actually took the wheat out of the farms because the villagers were tra trampling all over them and killing all the wheat, so I figured that. And I took the water out because I'm going to be removing these farms, actually. Um, this wood, uh, I feel like these logs are just way too valuable to have sitting as logs uh, when I could take them take them out and process them as planks, and there'd be so many more blocks as planks. Uh, also, of course, I don't really want the farms here. Uh, this is, this is going to be a building, and uh, there will be farms, uh, but they'll be underground farms with, you know, mechanized harvesting and things like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if we go over here, you can see that some of the villagers, I mean, like, this, this building just got destroyed, but some of the doors were missing on the village, um, and that's why the villagers were wandering around when I got here. As you can see, there are still some villagers that are trapped inside their original homes. I did that because I really didn't want to have to wrangle any more of the villagers than I already had to. Um, there's one here, yep. And there's two more trapped over here. So I should have... Uh... Nine, nine villagers total um, in in my in my village. They're all the same purple, brownish purple coat here. I'm not really sure what color that is. Is that puce? I don't know. Uh, but they're all the same color, and there aren't any ones with with smocks or aprons or anything like that. So um, they're just they're just monks, just the villagers. And uh, if you actually look over to this side, there's a there's a desert here. And about 100, maybe 200 blocks forward from here, 200 meters, whatever, there's actually another village. And that's why I picked this location, because it's got basically access to two villages. Um, I may I may decide to try and move all the villagers one at a time from that village over to this one, just to add some more, you know, color and environment to the location here. Uh, the, you may hear this zombie noise. There's actually another zombie spawner underground down here so there's like two two dungeons right close to each other um also in this area i've picked uh an area where there's like desert and then there's this sort of high grass prairie stuff there's also a um forest over here there's a lake in the forest there's also a, a nice pit ravine really 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 cool Let me show you that over here i mean just look at this there's a pig in there. Okay. Uh, there's a really nice ravine. And of course, here's a lake, which is now freezing over for no reason anyone can explain to me. Um, all right, then. Um, so there, there's a frozen lake, and there's a non-frozen lake right here. Okay. Um, moving on. Um, there's also more prairie here, and then there's some dark... There's another lake with, uh, yeah, really desperate-looking squids. Um, in this area over here, there's some dark grassland. I actually, I'm not sure what that should be called. Uh, it's kind of like swamp, but there's no trees. Um, I say that, and now looking at it, I'm not seeing it. So that might have been a bug that I was experiencing the other day, where the grass was dark green, and... Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing that anymore. Um, there's more forest over here uh, in this area, and there's some mountains beyond. I feel like I've got a good, good location, even if it's not terribly interesting. Uh, my my real goal was to find a village, and I, I definitely got one. Um, beyond that, um, there's not really much to show. I mean, there's some sheep nearby. There's some cows over in that forest over there. There's a few chickens, but I don't. I haven't captured any actual animals. Uh, I tried capturing some sheep, and then some creepers showed up and uh, blew up the sheep. Yeah, this was all dark, dark grass yesterday. So maybe that's maybe that's something that that's intermittent. Might be a server bug or something. Uh, we're still running uh, the official, uh, you know, Minecraft 1.0. Server, the built-in stock server. Uh, we will eventually be switching over to a server called Bucket or Craft Bucket. I'm not really familiar. Well, I'm still kind of new to Minecraft, uh, but apparently it's not ready yet. Minecraft, like I said, just came out a couple days ago, 
and these are third-party programmers who haven't quite haven't quite caught up. So, uh, but that's been the case every time there's been an update. We, we go through a period where the creepers are a terrible thing, and then we go to Craft Bucket, and there's a mod that they put in to basically make the creepers still kill people but not destroy buildings. And uh, that's that's not legit. I understand that's not legit. That's that's cheating. But uh, you know. If you want to build something, having to fight off creepers and build something at the same time, it's a little difficult to do, especially when you're doing things with uh, lava and <laughs> creeper comes and blows it away. Uh, this is my, well, I'm thinking about it. This is my cobblestone generator here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a video detailing how this was made. I'll do that in creative mode. I. Uh, it's not a real uncommon design, but I've been wanting to make a video sort of detailing how I made it. Um, other than that, I mean, there's really nothing to show. Uh, there's creeper damage, there's a village, it's built on uneven land, it's, you know, it's got problems, I've got a wall. That's pretty much it, you know. Uh, here's the, the death trap well that got blown up by a creeper. Uh, more farms over here. It's just, it's just, you know, it's a boring village. Nothing going on. Yet. I'm looking forward to doing some building today. And uh, we'll see if, uh, if I can get another video together later this evening, or perhaps uh, tomorrow. Uh, sort of detailing what I, what I put together, and how it, how it's progressing. Um, so far, uh, it's just, it's a start. This is before. So I'm excited. I'm I'm looking forward to freeing the villagers once I've got a place to free them to, and uh, and honestly taking apart some of these great uh, these great uh, farm things for all this lumber that I don't have to mine out of forest and replant. That'll be fun. Uh, cleaning up some of this water, you know, all all that stuff. It's going to be great. And uh, this video has been kind of holding me back because I had to sort of get get this done before I did anything serious. And now it's done. So I'm all, I'm, I'm excited about what's going on. So anyway, that's it. Um, until next time, uh, have a good day. And uh, yeah. <laughs>